Hello and welcome to another tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I am excited to test out and review Rank Math SEO plugin for WordPress. This is a 100% free plugin to help your site optimize for the search engines. It's got over 600,000 installations and a five star rating. So let's head over to my WP admin dashboard and install this plugin. You can do it directly from your plugins menu here under add new, search for rank math and then right here, install now and then click on activate. After activating, you need to connect your free rank math account and this will get you keyword suggestions from directly from Google when entering your focus keywords during content creation so let's go ahead and do that connect your account I'll just register right here click there and then just select whichever way you want to create your free account with Facebook Google WordPress.com account or just enter in your email and a password after making your account and log it in you can now activate rank math on this website click OK and now you are greeted with this setup wizard here you can choose some options whether you want easy or advanced and for the majority of people it will probably be easier just to select easy and rank math will do all the heavy lifting and set your sites to default settings that are recommended for SEO practices so let's just stick with easy and then click on start wizard and if you used a previous plugin SEO plugin for WordPress it will ask you if you want to import SEO settings and here I have Yoast SEO plugin which I had uh, previously installed in this example I will skip this step and just start fresh okay now we need to select what the website is about either a personal blog uh, small business e-commerce so you decide what you want and rank math will set the appropriate SEO settings for you okay now add a logo for Google and a default social sharing image all right here are my images now click on save and continue and okay in this step it's asking you to connect Google services such as search console and Google Analytics uh, this is really important to do uh, this will tell you exactly your performance at Google so I highly recommend you to do this step click here to connect Google services basically you, you log into your Google account and then it'll ask you to allow permission for rank math to do these things so just go ahead and allow them and here are the permissions that you are granting rank math and then just click on allow once again I've already added my website to the search console and Google Analytics if you don't know how to do that I have tutorials for each one of these steps I'll leave the links down below for you guys to learn how to add your site to Google search console and Google Analytics because you will need to connect it here select your website from the search console from this drop down and then also do the same thing for Google Analytics so select your property from these drop down right here I made one just uh, for this rank math and then view all website data and if you haven't already installed Google Analytics on your website you can choose to have it automatically install Google Analytics on your WordPress for you and it's probably a good idea to enable this right here this will exclude logged in users from uh, getting tracked in your Google Analytics okay next let's go down here if you have AdSense you can uh, select that here but then you need a pro version of rank math to do that okay let's click on save and continue okay that's it for the set of wizard in the easy mode and the last thing you need to do is if you want to enable auto update uh, go ahead and do that let's click here to return to the dashboard all right we got a score of 95 out of 100 for the site wide I'm pretty surprised by that I didn't think I can get such a high score right out of the box 
but that's pretty surprising and then down here you get some of the basic SEO details your SEO description your common keywords your headings make sure all the keywords are there so my targeted keyword is weight loss picks and it's been found pretty much everywhere in the description headings images titles and the focus keywords are the targeted keywords these are not found in my posts so i need to do a better job with incorporating these keywords in my post that's what i recommend it so you follow these recommendations and then try to fix it and you will get a higher seo score okay finally let's take a look at how rank math works when you create a post right now i'm using the classic editor but it works the same for the uh, gutenberg or block editor uh, and you go to the bottom of the page or post here and you will see rank math it will show in the block editor as well near the bottom and you will see a preview of the search engine snippet of what uh, people will see when they search for certain keywords and this is how your site will look right here this is the important thing that you need to uh, news when you create your content add in a focus keyword and this tells rank math what your content is about and then it'll help you uh, recommend what you need to do to increase your seo score so in this example let's type in a, an example so here's my focus keyword my progress and then you can add another one like weigh in so right now i got two focus keyword and my seo score is 76 out of 100 for these targeted keywords if you have something totally uh, not relevant to your website let's say video video games for instance it's gonna give you i think a default score right here 16 out of 100 since this keyword video games is not found right here under basic seo recommendations you get an x for these right here it's not found in the url it's not found in the meta description the title in the beginning of your content or appear in your content anywhere now that i've entered in the actual focus keywords and my score is jumped up here and here i get a check mark uh, found in the content but content is 56 words long consider using at least 600 words and then click on additional and it gives you some more advice and again just follow what the recommendation are and then you get a better score okay after updating the page my score went up to 83 so you need to update uh, your post to see the new score okay so that's pretty much it on how to use rank math to improve your seo on your wordpress website it's pretty easy to do and set up i hope you find this helpful and be sure to let me know if you guys have any questions thanks so much for viewing please subscribe to my channel how to webmaster for more wordpress tips tricks and tutorials thanks so much and until next time, happy blogging.